morning, guys. It's Wednesday, 18th of August, 2021. Let's have a little look at the news. We had some Kiwi news earlier, 3 a.m., though. Um, the market was actually expecting a rate hike. Okay, so they're expecting the Reserve Bank of New Zealand to raise interest rates from 0.25% to 0.5%. That didn't happen. They actually kept them at 0.25%. So a little bit of a choppiness on Kiwi. But um, otherwise, nothing really more than that. Um, had some pound news out as well. A little bit worse than forecast for forecast for the CPI year on year was 2.3 and it came in at 2.0. So just um, it's really, really easy on Forex Factory, guys. When it's a, a red figure, you know that it was bad. If it's green, you know that it was better than expected. Next news, 1.30 p.m. CAD CPI. And we've got FOMC meeting minutes a little bit later on 7 p.m. or UK times, guys. Um, right, let's move that out of the way because I want to just show you there's one particular currency which is really, really interesting at the moment. So I'm just going to focus today's update on it, and that is Aussie. Um, okay, we're just looking at Aussie USD on this is a daily time frame with my usual um, eight moving average and my 20 moving average just look at the momentum to the downside and now we've actually broken this level here i've put this level particularly there because that's basically where the just drop it up actually uh, pu push it up a little bit actually because that's where the lowest close was like here look and here and look look how we've closed all the way down here yesterday so there's strong market momentum pushing price on this down now of course we're not look looking to sell here right now <clears throat> if you look at the daily chart okay when, when price is moving whether it's to the downside or whether it's to the upside okay you would need to be waiting for price to come into that daily eight moving average to start getting interested in getting into a trade. So look where price is at the moment. I'm not saying this wouldn't push down, but I'm just saying it's not the right place to get into the trade at the moment. The right place would be when price is around that eight moving average on the daily. Okay, it could push higher, but that would be the right place to start looking to get into any sales trades. So, really, really, you know, simple. It's a break, and looking for the retest <clears throat> would help if my line was the right color. Okay, but that's basically what we're looking for. But we'll be looking for sales anywhere from when price is around that eight moving average okay so i'd be expecting some correction at the moment so right now you know we came into 72 uh 40 yeah 72 40 we could come back into 73 20 that should be a key figure for you to look out for you know whether you're going to look at that manually whether you're going to place an alert i'm just going to place an alert now saying potential resistance alerts are great guys because you know it just means if you've got your alert set you don't have to keep on looking at your charts all the time your alerts are set you know you'll get a notification when price is at a relevant area for whatever it is you're looking at so that set you can see these tips of wicks here so that is a really nice little area to watch now when price does come if it comes into that area, I should say, um, you know, you can then either look for, if you're an end of day trader, you can then look for a reversal pattern around here. Um, let's just split the screen up a bit. Uh, this is the four hour chart. Okay. Four hour chart. Now, again, you could have your um, eight, moving average and 20 moving average if you want and you might have a uh, a strategy which involves on a four hour at least price coming in to that h4 sorry that 20 moving average and closing below it for instance you might have a strategy there you might have a different strategy 
Um, for instance, I've got here the 200 moving average, the 50 and the 20, and you'd be at least looking for price to come into the 50 moving average and then look to sell off. But you know, there's lots of different strategies out there. But the main thing is we'll be looking for, we'll be leaving price where it is at the moment because we're not interested until price comes up into this zone and you're looking then for sellers to come into the market. So whether you look for a bounce off a moving average, whether you look for a particular candlestick pattern, like um, in this case, it would perhaps be an evening star pattern or a uh, shooting star pattern. Okay, it's just a little bit of patience now and waiting for price to enter our zone where we would be interested in selling from. So, of course, there won't be just Aussie USD um, to to trade potentially you'll be looking for Aussie weakness on a number of pairs once Aussie USD is back into this zone assuming that it gets there um, one pair of interest is actually um, Euro Aussie because look at Euro Aussie in a contrast to Aussie USD Euro Aussie is a bullish market okay we are seeing higher highs, higher lows. We've had this pullback and formed a a low, and now we're we're actually at resistance now. Actually, previous resistance, but we are looking for Aussie to pull back, aren't we? So, if we're looking for Aussie USD to pull back into the eight moving average on the daily, then you know we're going to be looking for price to do pretty much exactly the same on here look for price to pull back into that eight moving average on the daily and then you'll be looking at a smaller time frame potentially <clears throat> or emas on your four hour hourly to look for uh buyers to come in really really nice impulsive move here on the hourly as you can see but we are looking for price to come back so where is that eight moving average at the moment so have Eight moving average at the moment is around about 160.65. So here that's around about there. So if you're looking at the hourly, you know, that's quite a deep pullback. We'll probably see an impulse to the downside, a correction, another impulse. So we might see something like this, but on a, a smaller time frame. And then we'd be looking for buyers to take control again and looking for price action like that. So, yeah, keep your eyes on Aussie USD because it's looking it's looking really really nice after that daily close yesterday, very very bearish close. Naturally, now just going to look for a pullback and look for further shorts on Aussie dollar. There are other currency pairs as well. For instance, pound Aussie might set up as well. Pound Aussie is a, a very very bullish market as well. Um, if I show you, look at that. Uh, look where price is compared to that eight moving average. So again, you know, it's um, take your pick really. You could just simply choose Aussie USD. You know, stick with that. There'd be absolutely no problem. So keep your eyes on Aussie. Keep your eyes on the Aussie pairs because maybe not today, but maybe um, maybe by the end of the week, maybe even tomorrow. Who knows? We might have some setups. So be a very very interesting currency. And currency pairs to look out for so guys i will catch you soon and safe trading bye for now <laughs>